Hi students, how are you today? Welcome to Top Tutors, Toppers e-learning classes. Understand every single concept and be a topper. Today, we are going to learn how to plot the magnetic field pattern due to a bar magnet by using a compass. Definition of magnetic field lines, that is magnetic lines of force and characteristics of the magnetic field lines. The previous session also, we have discussed the magnetic field lines and their characteristics. In this session, we can conclude that session. Now, how to plot the magnetic field pattern Field lines due to a bar magnet by using a compass. You know what is compass, right? First, take a small compass and a bar magnet. Place the magnet on a sheet of white paper fixed on a drawing board using some adhesive material. Mark the boundary of the magnet. Place the compass near the north pole of the magnet. How does it behave? The south pole of the needle points towards the north pole of the magnet. And north pole of the compass will be away from the magnet. The north pole of, north pole of the compass is directed away from the north pole of the magnet. Mark the position of two ends of the needle. Now, move the needle to a new position such that its south pole occupies the position previously occupied by its north pole. In this way, proceed step by step till you reach the south pole of the magnet as shown in the figure. So what you are doing first, uh, the north pole is here. So starting from here, starting from here. Okay. So the north pole will be away and south pole will be towards the north pole of the magnet. So we are pointing here and here. Again, take the compass and keep it in another point here position here. Also mark their points. Again, keep it here. So like that, when you are moving, this compass will, will take you to the, to the south pole of the magnet. So you got one, one field line. We started from north pole and coming to the end and to the south pole. Like this, Join the points marked on the paper by a smooth curve. This curve represents a field line. Repeat the above procedure and draw as many lines as you can. You will get a pattern shown in figure. These lines represent the magnetic field around the magnet. These are known as magnetic field lines. Observe the deflection in the compass needle as you move it along a field line. The deflection increases as the needle is moved towards the poles. So when you are coming more close to the poles, the deflection will be more. When you are far from the magnet, deflection will be less. See, once you complete it, you will get the pattern like this. So the, the magnetic field lines are starting from north, right? Ending at south. These are all magnetic field lines. If you are in this end, if you're starting, it will come this way and ending at, ending at South Pole. Okay, so when you are starting from here, it goes. So if you are completing, it will be difficult. So it's going all this way, right? This is the method of plotting magnetic field lines. What are the observations from this activity? The magnetic field lines leave the North Pole of a magnet and enter its south pole. In other words, each magnetic field line 
is directed from the north pole of a magnet to its south pole. Each field line indicates at every point on it the direction of magnetic force that would act on a north pole if it were placed at that point. Where the field lines are closest together, the magnetic field line, I mean magnetic field is the strongest. It means that the pole, north pole and south pole, you can see the magnetic field lines are more closer. So the, the strength will be more. Another observation, no two magnetic field lines are found to cross each other. They are not intersecting each other. The magnetic field and hence the magnetic lines of force exist in all the planes all around the magnet. It should be noted that we have drawn the magnetic lines of force only in one plane around the magnet. Let us give a definition for magnetic field lines on examination point of view. Magnetic field lines and magnetic lines of force both are same. A magnetic field line is the path along which an imaginary free north pole would tend to move. The magnetic field lines are close to curves. Magnetic field lines are shown closer together where the magnetic field is greater, right? So if you have a bar magnet like this, and this is your north pole, and here we have south pole, you can see that magnetic field lines starting from north, right? It will go like come like this and it will come here, right? But it's a closed path. Inside, it will be parallel lines. It is from, it will join like this. So inside the bar magnet it will be parallel line. Okay, so the direction, how will you show? The direction from north to south, outside, inside it is from south to north. So it's a complete loop actually. Clear, right? Fine. Now, next, properties or characteristics of the magnetic field lines. Let us conclude. The magnetic field lines originate from the north pole of a magnet and end at its south pole. First property. Second, inside the magnet, the direction of field lines is from its south pole to its north pole, and they are parallel. Third, the relative strength of the magnetic field is shown by the degree of closeness of the field lines. It means the magnetic field lines come closer to one another near the poles of a magnet, which indicates a stronger magnetic field, but they are widely separated at other places, which indicates a weak magnetic field. Fourth, the magnetic field lines do not intersect or cross one another. It means no two field lines are found to cross each other. So these are the main four properties of magnetic field lines that we have to memorize. Clear? Okay. So if you have any doubts, you can contact me by email or WhatsApp, or you can ask the doubts in our online classes. So see you in the next class. Goodbye.